Hey y'all, Chris Bassett here, and I'm doing a solo guide for the K1 Crew Quarters Legend Lost Sector. I'll be playing on my Hunter. Let's get into it. K1 Crew Quarters is located on the moon. It's in about the middle of the map. If you're having trouble finding it, there's a few prerequisites. Uh, you have to be high enough light level. Uh, the recommended power is 1550. You also have to complete this at least once on the normal version, and then it has to be the Lost Sector's turn in the rotation. I'll put a link in the description for the days and times the Lost Sectors are legendary. So for my Hunter build, I like to run the Night Stalker, uh, my favorite subclass to play solo. A marksman's Dodge, that way I can dodge reload with a Vortex Grenade. Stylish Executioner and Vanishing Step are added invisibility. And then I like to use Echo of Remnants and Undermining, that way my, my grenade lasts longer and does more damage. And then the other two are just for the stat bonuses, the mobility, intellect, and recovery. So for the champions, I'll be running an anti-barrier scout and an overload auto rifle. You need to have those equipped, that way you can break the shield of the champions. So for overload and barrier champions, we have four weapons to choose from. A scout rifle and bow for your barrier, and then auto rifle and submachine gun for the overload. I'm running a drop from Gambit, the Servant Leader. It's a really good scout rifle. Uh, I'm using Hard Light because it is Arc, Burn, and then there are a ton of Shanks with Solar Shields, so it'll be nice to switch between Arc Damage and Solar Damage. And then also Hard Light is an auto rifle, so it'll be able to stun champions. For your heavy weapon, I'd go with the Arc Burn, so I'd use either a Rocket Launcher or Linear Fusion. And then, if possible, throw some arc resist mods into your chest armor to help with that arc burn damage. And then I'll be running a rocket launcher, ammo finder, and scavenger. A to one in the tower sells mods, and it rotates daily, uh, so make sure you check in to pick up any that you're missing. Alright, so while we take the Sparrow over to the Lost Sector, I'll go through a few weapon options. For primary weapons that are assault rifles, you have the Herod C, the Duty Bound, and the Crate. Some fun options for exotic auto rifles would be Sweet Business, Soros Regime, or even Monte Carlo. In the submachine gun department, uh, Risk Runner is a no-brainer. And then you can get the borrowed time from Gambit. Deal with those solar shanks. If you're looking at combat bows, Trinity Ghoul is a good arc bow, as well as Tiku's Divination for solar. I would definitely suggest, if you can't multitask a weapon with both solar and arc, uh, stick to a normal primary weapon and then a solar energy weapon and then have your heavy weapon arc uh, take full advantage of that arc burn. Adaptive munitions is great for weapons as it allows you to deal additional damage without having to change um, damage types. So if it's the first time on normal you want to head inside and then proceed forward uh, complete the lost sector normally and then you have access to the legendary version. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. So in the uh, first area, you have uh, about a dozen ads, and once you kill those, uh, the back door to the right will open up and spawn in some solar shanks. Uh, also, the overload captain is a fallen enemy type, so he'll teleport around. So you may have better luck if you stun him with your submachine gun auto rifle first before you try to rocket him. All these enemies are using arc, uh, so make sure you take cover, and then if you need to heal, uh, fall back and heal. So the shanks just came out, so I'm gonna switch to solar, uh, deal with them, and then I'm just using the box as cover. The arc damage from the enemies kind of curve around, and they do they have like a mild tracking. Um, so if you're not bobbing and weaving, you can get hit around corners with that shot. So I got the stun on the captain, so I'll double rocket him, finish him off quick. If you don't have the ability to rapidly shoot your rockets in succession, you could hit him with a rocket, switch back to your weapon that stuns, stun him again, and then reload and hit him with the last rocket. There's a couple exploder shanks in here, so proceed with caution. In this next area, uh, you'll be fighting from long range, so there's enemies that spawn in from that door to the left, as well as some invisible enemies that come from over the hill. Uh, you have the, the Servitor Champion, which will make enemies around it invulnerable. So I like to stay back, use that rock as cover, and then kind of head glitch the hill. Uh, just be careful you don't go too far back, because you just fall off the map. 
So it's best if you can get a stun on the champion before you use your heavy weapon. Uh, he likes to kind of teleport around and then hide, and he'll regain his health if you let him. None of the enemies really push up too aggressively uh, if you kind of hang back. So if you have your long-range scout or your bow, uh, you can take him out from a distance. So here you can see I hit him with a rocket, and then he teleported and put the bubble up. So he was about to regain his health, so quickly switched to... Oh, there we go. I fell off the map. <laughs> uh, switch to my scout, and then uh, pop the bubble before he regains any more health. It also stuns him, then you can finish him off with your primary. Hey, watch out for that. So as you push up, there is an overload captain up there. Uh, there's some enemies to the on the ledge to your right, and then some solar shanks across the gap to the right. Uh, keep your eyes open for the invisible enemies. Uh, grenades seem to do a great job of finding them and killing them. And then you can see stylish executioner proccing. Uh, I become invisible, and then I gain true sight where I can see the enemies through walls, basically wall hacks. Uh, it's really nice when that goes off. So I'm just cleaning up the rest of the enemies around here. That way I don't get shot in the back when I move forward. Having a heavy ammo finder really does help quite a bit with gaining extra rockets. Occasionally vandals will run over here to the left side and you have to deal with them before they kill you. And then you'll also have some enemies further north um, and then on that ledge over there. And they're the sniper types. Uh, there's your shanks with the solar shields right there. So I'd pull back just a little bit inside this hole and you can position yourself behind the wall so only the sh shanks are visible. And then you can take them out without having to worry about getting hit from the other directions. So after you clear the overload over on this side, uh, where those shanks were positioned, that's the direction you want to go to proceed to the next area. It can be kind of difficult to deal with the champion because he likes to dip in and out of cover, teleport, uh, so you need to progress strategically. I'd take cover from left to right as you get closer. Uh, auto rifles don't really have the best range, and submachine guns are even worse, so you probably need to get closer to deal with him effectively. So this season, there is an overload grenade mod that is one energy. When you unlock it from your seasonal artifact, you can then put it on your class item. Uh, it's void grenades disrupt combatants. Stunning them, delaying ability, energy regeneration, and lowering the combatant damage output. It works for overload champions. If you did have that equipped, then you wouldn't have to put your mod into your arm slot, and it would free up that space for something else. So around this rock to the right, there are uh, half a dozen solar shanks. So switch to your solar weapon and deal with them pretty quickly. And then you have a barrier champion also to deal with uh, that's making the shanks invincible. Similar strategy as before, uh, where you want to throw a rocket at him or linear fusion and then switch to your bow or scout rifle and then stun him. Uh, it can be kind of difficult to get a double rocket because he's got cover on top of he's making enemies invincible and he likes to kind of hide out in the back. So just play cover around that, whatever that is, that missile warhead engine thing, and then you'll be able to proceed to the next area. Uh, this is where the boss is located, just up over here. Now if you're fast enough, you can, like a Titan, you can Thunder Crash, or Warlock, you can, whatever, the Hand Beam, whatever, whatever that is. Basically use your Arc Super, and you can melt the boss uh, before the champion makes him immune and becomes a problem which I don't get to it fast enough so then I got to deal with the barrier champion making the boss immune um, and then slow it's a lot slower so yeah if that does happen uh, just pull back a little bit and then you have to slowly pick the enemies off and because the champions making everyone immune you almost have to wait until they get far enough away that they break that immunity tether and then they're vulnerable to damage and slowly, you know, slowly pick at them. And then, of course, if you focus down the champion, then you don't have to worry about that. So um, I'll take it slow, and I'm killing the adds off. And then I eventually pop the bubble off the barrier champion, and then I can rocket him, kill him quick. And then once he's dead, then the boss dies almost immediately afterwards. So if you're looking for the best chance at getting an exotic armor, you want to make sure that you've killed every everything, pretty much. 
in the lost sector. If you do leave a champion alive, it'll give you a lower tier reward. It'll even say like platinum, bronze, whatever rewards. And so then you know you got a, a less of a chance at getting the exotics. The other part to that is you have 15 minutes to complete the lost sector. So that's, that's plenty of time to kill absolutely everything and then collect the rewards. So once it says cash code acquired, uh, you're good to go open the chest and then get your rewards. So I'm just finish the rest of the guys and see what I got. Hey, check out this other video right here. Uh, there's links in the description to save some money, so check those out. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If this was helpful, hit the like button. Thanks.